Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel math d 2 science free academy today our lecture is related to chapter 5 which is quadratic equations and I am going to explain you question number 3 of exercise 5c ok to students um, question number 3 is here you can see the question question number 3 is the figure shows the curve y is equal to minus x square minus x plus 20 and the first part is the curve cuts the x-axis at two points A and B and the y-axis at the point C. Find the coordinates of A, B and C. In second days, the point D, 3, H lies on the curve. Find the value of H. And here you can see this curve is given. And this is x-axis and this is y-axis and this is the equation. Students, we do not know. Okay, students, so it means that this is A point, this is B and this is C point on the curve and this is the equation. So in part A, as they are saying that you have to find out, um, and they are saying that you have to find out the coordinates of A, B and C. But here you can see that in the graph, the values are not given. So it means that we have to find out the values. Okay, gee, so let's um, find out. Okay, students, so to find out, as you can see that the equation is given to you, y is equal to minus x square minus x plus 20 okay gee. so to find out the values of x okay we can assume that y is equal to 0 okay we're supposing that let y is equal to 0 so if y is equal to 0 so the equation would be minus x square minus x plus 20 is equal to 0 as you now uh, what can we do is we can take minus sign common Okay, if we take minus sign common, what will be left? X square. Now, if we're taking minus sign common, signs inside the bracket will be changed. So, a plus X and this sign will become minus 20 is equal to 0. Okay, when this minus sign, okay, we have taken, suppose we have taken minus 1 common. So, when you will divide this, when minus 1 will come to this side, it will be divided with 0 and will become 0. So, now your equation is X square plus X minus 20 is equal to 0 because when you will, uh, divide this 0 with this minus 1 it will become 0 okay so now this is your equation now what can we do is we can make the factors to find out the values of x okay so here the coefficient is 1 so multiply the first and the last number so when you will multiply 20 and 1 you will get 20 now you have to choose two factors and here this is a midterm midterm the coefficient is 1 now you have to choose two factors that when you will multiply you will get you will get 20 and when you will add and subtract you will get 1. So those two factors are 5 and 4. So when you will multiply 5 and 4 you will get 20 and when you will subtract 4 from 5 you will get 1. It means that those two factors are 5 and 4. Okay so now let's do it. You know, write down the factors in place of the midterm. Write down the first term as it is. As I suppose when you write down the factors you have to follow two rules. The first rule is that first you have to write down this sign over here okay this is plus sign so write down this sign over here and first you have to write down the bigger factor the bigger factor is 5 so first you write on 5x as I suppose now you will decide the other sign that what should be the other sign so that you can get one here the coefficient is 1 now where there is no coefficient it means that the coefficient over here is 1 single variable mean it is having 1 as coefficient now here this is 1 so what you will do uh, what should be the other sign that you, you can get 1? So the other sign should be minus, okay? So because when you will subtract 4 from 5, then you will get 1. Now write down the last term as it is. Now you can take x common from these two terms. So if you are taking x common, so now here x is left and inside it is 5. And minus, now you can take minus 4 common. And x, if you are taking minus sign common, sign inside the bracket will be changed, will become plus. So now you can see that from these two terms, now from these two terms you can take x minus 5 common. This whole term x minus 5 is here and this whole term x minus 5 is here. So x plus 5 is here. So you can take x plus 5 common. Now what is left inside here from this whole term x is left minus. Now you have taken x plus 5 common so 4 is left. Alright. <laughs> now these both numbers are equal to 0. So it means that x plus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. So from here the value of x is and when you will okay and you will find the value of x from this equation. So when you will move 5 to the right hand side it will be subtracted. It's adding over here and it will come to the right hand side it will be subtracted and from 0. So you will get minus 5. And from here when it's uh, 4 is minus uh, it's subtracting over here and it will go to the right hand side it will be added in 0. So you will get 4. So it means that the values of x are minus 5 and 4. So it means that the coordinates of a and b. Okay, students. So 
this is minus 5 value so it means that um, okay you know that on a graph okay this is your uh, graph which you have to find out the value of a and b and this is your c point as a distress remember that uh, on the right hand side we are having positive values on the left hand side we are having negative values so if this is um, 1 2 3 4 okay so it means that 4 is over here and here these are the negative values it means that minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 here this is x is minus 5 and y is 0 so now it means that the y is 0 okay so y is 0 and you know that what are the coordinates how would you write down the coordinates the coordinates are x and y you have to write down the value of x and y so in a um, as you can see that a is on the left hand side so on the graph as on this side the, the neg there are the negative values of x so it means that here uh, you write down the negative value on a because a is on the left hand side of the graph okay on of the axis of the x axis so a x is uh, we will take minus value minus 5 now we have assumed that y is equal to 0 so y is 0 in the same way b is x y so here b is on the right hand side so it means that the values of x is positive so we'll take positive value which is 4 and you know that y is 0 so these two are the coordinates of a and b i just was now the question is how would we find out uh, the point c because they have also asked that find out the point so now we are going to find out point c so c for c So as for C, you know that this is the equation y is equal to minus x square minus x plus 20. So uh, for C, you know that at point where the point C is, okay, this is your uh, graph, no? This is your graph. Where the point C is, here, this is the point C, no? On the graph. So here the x value is 0. Here the x is 0. Here the x is 0, so we have to find out the point C. So it means that we have to find out the value of y. We know x, we have to find out y because the coordinate is x, y. Na? So we know x, that x is 0. We just need to find out y. So what would be the y? So what for y, what can we do is we can use this equation. So as I have told you that on at point C, at point C, x is equal to zero so now i will use this equation i will put x equal to zero in this equation to get the value of y so that at that, that i can find out the coordinate of c so y is equal to minus x square now i will substitute the value of x i will substitute zero okay minus zero square minus minus zero zero achaji plus 20 so zero plus zero is zero so it means that the value of y is 20 x x is 0 and y is 20 so the coordinate of c is as you know that the coordinate of c is x y now you will substitute the values x is 0 and y is 20 so this is your coordinate of c okay i hope that it's clear to you students now let's move forward to second point a second part of this question i said students now uh, second part is Second part is the point D3 H lies on the curve, find the value of H. Okay, G. so they are saying that there is a point uh, D3 H lies on the curve. We have to find out the value of H. Now the point D they have told you, D is what? D is 3 and H. I just you know that in the coordinate, okay, in the coordinate, uh, this is x value and this is y value. Okay, G. so uh, what can we do is in place of y, we can put x, okay, and in place of x, we can substitute 3. So that, uh, afterwards, we can get the value of x. Okay, first write down the equation. The equation is y is equal to minus x square 